All right, so what we're seeing here, we're picking it up kind of early in the game, and Isaac is heading into a train station. So what you just saw there was a little sample of a dementia moment that Isaac uh, may experience from time to time in the game. That one had a flaming train. So Isaac needs to get this train back online. He basically needs to get the power going to it. So we're going to get to see uh, a hack box, which lets players uh, hack, into, hack into machinery. And so by rotating the left stick, he's looking for the sweet spot. And then you press A or X uh, to lock that in. So you're going to find these throughout the game uh, from time to time. So at this point, Isaac needs to make it to that other train car, and he's going to use the thrusters on his boots and the back of his suit to thrust up to it. And this is all under player control, so players are going to have to avoid these doors that are coming off and try to grab hold of this train car. So we're really trying to focus on alternate strategies for players in Dead Space 2. So right there you saw the Exploder being used as a way to take out another enemy. And uh, all of our new enemies actually allow for that kind of level of strategy. So as you can see in this next sequence, Isaac has fallen out of the train and is hanging upside down and is going to need to use all of his abilities to take out the oncoming necromorph threat. So the environments offer a lot in the ways of potential ammunition in this game as you can use pointy objects to TK and, and impale enemies. You can also grab dismembered and severed limbs of enemies and impale enemies with those as well. That all works when you're hanging upside down, as does stasis and uh, all of Isaac's various tools and weapons. So 
this is one of the moments that we've been talking about in terms of mixing up the pacing where, you know, it's still scary, you still feel defenseless, hanging upside down, but uh, it kind of changes the pace. All right, so that's a little bit of Dead Space 2.